See, I don't know why many Northerners they don't like their friends. I don't know why they don't like the Igbo's people. But today, the story has changed. So oh. it is no longer the Nigerian of 90s. So oh. the situation right now has changed. People in the north, our eyes has open. We understand a good leader from a bad leader. So people now will support a good leader. Thank you very much, uh, viewers. I would love my viewers to understand that uh, in, in a country like Nigeria, it is only a country whereby it has become like a child play. You know, you know, a child now, they, you will see children, they will play together, they will fight together, and they will still come back together. You know, in Nigeria, it has become like a child play. So our leaders, they are just doing the same thing. You know, you cannot continue doing the same thing as you expect this, a, a different result. Uh, you cannot continue, you know, supporting things that are bad and you expect something good to happen. Uh, that is exactly what our leaders are doing. Uh, how can the military uh, make the Isua, you know, how can they tell the Isua to reconcile? How can they make them to come so that they will pardon them, so that in other aspects they will use them for negative vibe? So, this our country, our leaders, they have already turned us to become slaves. And right now we are slave for them. But I want our leaders to know we are not slave for them because when God created us, he did not tell that, that we are going to be slave for our leaders. You know, God gave us leaders so that they will govern us rightly. But right now they are governing, governing us wrongly and which God is not happy with them. And we, the common people of this country, we are not happy with them. So you can see what is going on in this country is actually something that, you know, it has no sense. There is no any sense of belong in what is going on right now. But I want our leaders to understand that, 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 that the Biafran people are people that are peaceful people. We used to think, when I was a child, I used to think that I see the Biafrans are, are, are people that are bad. But when I grow, when I understand the situation with all that has been going on in the north, I get to understand that the problem of this country, I can assure to you, 90% uh, of the problem of this country are the, are the north, you know, are the north. So you can see that the northern people, which they allow the Fulani to influence them and the Fulani had to influence them to give them the negative uh, attitude towards, uh, towards leadership. Because for me, it's a, a, a negative attitude towards leadership. Because we have seen uh, the Fulani, they have been ruling. The only Fulani man that did well, which had the fear of God, which is Er Adua. But apart from him, the remaining Fulani, they had been doing things which are bad. And up to today, what are we experiencing? We are experiencing bad and bad and bad. But my own opinion and what I believe is that uh, Biafran should let Biafran go. But why are they still stopping Biafra? They are stopping Biafra because they are leaders that they are not innovative. Mm. You know, when you have leaders that are not innovative, they are always looking at the, 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 the resources that is coming from the Biafra land. Mm. But as for me, a person from the north, I believe I can survive without uh, what, what Biafrans have. I believe I can survive because even in my state, we have resources which we can, which we can generate, which is, can make my, my, my states to become the best. Mm. But today the problem is that in my state we have those ASWAP, we have those Boko Haram, mm. we have those bandits, and right now the, 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 the military they want to reconcile with those people. Those are people that are supposed to be kept in a prison. Mm. Life sentence. That is exactly what they are to give to them. In fact, in other countries they are meant to be killed. Mm. In other countries, like, like I believe in Saudi Arabia, if they catch people like that, they are going to kill them. It is only in America that they will give them life, sem life sentence. So I accept since we are practicing democracy, they should be life sentence. Why are you trying to negotiate with people like that? Why are you trying to, to, to do things like that? For me, it's very bad. This is my message to the people of the world. And I believe that this world is going to become a better place, not because of man, but because of God. So I want the people to know that many people hate Trump for no reason. Even in Nigeria, there are some certain group of people that, that hate Donald Trump. But I believe that if Trump comes, God is using him for the freedom of even the Africans. So African will experience freedom. The people of America, if Kamala Harris become a, a president, I can assure to you, America is going to be doomed. America will be destroyed because right now Kamala Harris is a corrupt president. I'm not in America, but I follow, I follow their news. I follow, uh, I follow their legacy. And what legacy do they have? They only have legacy is, is, is to high price, high increase. 
inflation that's the legacy of Kamala Harris to suffer people to suffer people and I can I can I can assure to you that it is not only what they are doing to America even with some bad leaders in Nigeria they are together with uh, Kamala Harris with some bad Democrat but I am trusting God because I know God is using many Democrats they will support Trump it's just a matter of time many 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 Democrats many many so Trump don't give up continue with the campaign and continue with the doing good you will be the president of the America and Africa will be liberated from all this evil that we have been experiencing for many decades I believe we will be free. Thank you very much. Okay, but sorry. But lastly, um, after, you know, um, just like uh, just like I've said, if the Nigerian military, if they're taking um, 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 these terrorists, you know, uh, they finally absorb them and uh, working for them, um, do you not think that these are people that will seek, you know, betray the military and seek cause more problems? Of course, now, a bad person, you don't expect him to be good. You don't reconcile with a bad person. A bad person that you know is a bad person, you always mark a bad a, a point on him because he's bad. A day that you will stop looking at him as a bad person is the day that he will confess. I used to kill people, I used to do that, and I was being used by so-so-so person because those people are being used by our leaders. So even our leaders right now, as I'm talking to you, our leaders, majority of them are terrorists. They don't want us to talk. If they are not terrorists, why are they suffering us? If they are not wicked leaders, why are they doing what they are doing for us? Look at how uh, our patrol, how the subsidy have skyrocketed. People are fighting every day. And they don't know the real people that are supposed to fight. We are supposed to hold the president responsible and all his cabinet members. But today we are not holding them responsible. You will see passengers are fighting with drivers, which is very wrong. Why will you be fighting with a driver? A person that makes the, the fuel to go high is not the driver. You know, it's the president and his cabinet, those people that are advising him. And in his cabinet, I can assure to you, there is no Shedrak, there is no uh, Meshach, and there is no Abenego. Those three people are lacking in, in the cabinet of Tinumbu because those are the people that they can tell Tinumbu to his, to, to his face. People are suffering. You need to do something that you will lessen the burden of the people. But because those people are those people that will always go contrary to people that are right. They always go contrary. When they know you are trying to bring a right policy, they will go contrary. They will go against you. And by all means, they will do everything so that you will leave that office. Look at our country, Nigeria. We are suffering on a daily basis. Suffering has because, become, become part of our nature now. But I can assure you, a person like me, yo, I thank God yo, because my faith in Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ has been, has been good for me. Because even some of my parents, they do not believe in me when I tell them that this is what, this is the new life that I got in Jesus Christ. Many of them, they are doubting me, but I, it's between me and Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ has been an amazing thing for me. See, what I never expect will happen to me. People are crying of food. I can assure to you, me, I don't cry of food. Because every day, God has already put people on my side that they will just give me. I don't see food as anything. I don't have problem with food. I don't have problem with money. Because, because Jesus Christ has connected me with the people of the sources. That is why I'm telling people, this Jesus, so if you play with them more, in mind go see you, in go play with you. If you carry them serious, so in go carry you serious. Now the grace where me I they enjoy for Nigeria. And I want everybody to tap into that grace because that grace is sufficient for everybody. Thank you. Mm. Okay. Okay. So, so, but lastly, lastly, okay. um, as for the military going to um, um, recruiting the terrorists, but we've seen Biafra come and say that after recruiting them, they will now go to the, the military will take them down to Biafra land and start killing them. Um, do you think this is right? Does uh, it make actually, sense? you know, they have already... They, 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 they want to box the, the, the Biafran people in the box. Uh, right now, the Biafran people have been depressed. Yes, they have been depressed. You know, in this country, it is only the country that you can see. I don't know why many Northerners, they don't like Biafrans. I don't know why they don't like the Igbos people. But today, the story has changed. Oh, it is no longer the Nigerian of 90s. Oh. The situation right now has changed. People in the north, our eyes are open. We understand a good leader from a bad leader. So people now will support a good leader, which we believe, uh, which we believe or be a good candidate, must never give up. If Biafra did not go, he must never give up. 
and all what they will do to depress Biafra, to kill Biafran, I want the Biafrans to know that they must set their eyes watching. They must never go asleep. They must make sure they take, they, 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 they protect their territory. They must make sure they are vigilant and they must make sure they are doing everything possible to see that their dream come to realization. If not, I'm telling you, they will be depressed and they will be depressed. And you know, when that wicked man continues to depress you, he will do everything. If he has his own way to kill you all, he will kill you. There are people today that if they have their own way to kill all the Biafra, they will kill them. But the Biafra will never be killed. That's what I know. You know, they will depress them and they will kill some of the, their people, but they can never wipe up Biafra. That is what I believe. So all the Igbos must unite all over the world. They must unite. And with all the good people of Nigeria that believe in freedom, must support the Biafran. Mm. The people in the Middle Belt must support the Biafran. Even in the final, the people that believe in freedom must support the Biafran. We are, it is no longer time that we are going to be people without innovation. We must be people with innovation. We must be seeing things beyond, not things that are just... Don't think that you can see it now, but you must be, be able to reason something that is far beyond how you can do something and how you can achieve something. That is the only way that it can help us. And if those people have been forgiven and they recruit them into the army, I'm telling you, they will use it for negative vibe. They will use it to go and harm the, you know, the, 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 the citizen, which are the Biafrans. They will, not only the Biafrans, they will use them to harm every good citizen of this country. If you are against the policy of the president, if you are against every policy that he's doing, like to increase the price of things on a daily basis, and you want Nigeria to continue to stay quiet, they can use it. Even as for me right now, they can do anything to harm me, but I thank God. Me, my, my life, I just thank God. If they harm me, if they kill me today, me, I'm a happy man because I'm going to a place where I'll be celebrating every day. The, the Lamborghini, the whatever, I will have all of them in that place because that expression is more than Lamborghini, more than the gold, the diamond, the everything. You can imagine that God created the devil with what? With diamond, with ciphers, with topaz. That is God who creating the devil with diamond. But what, did, what happened with the devil? Pride, iniquity was found in him and God rejected him. So also God will reject our leaders by doing the evil that they are doing because they don't want the Biafran to be free. They don't want people to be free, not only the Biafrans, but I can assure to you, Biafran will be free. It's just a matter of time. There will be a smooth, a smooth separation, a smooth one. They don't have to kill. They don't have to shed any blood. It's going to be a smooth separation. All what we are waiting now, is the is the revelation which is going to take place 2025 you will see this dream coming to reality because trump is coming to the white house and african youth are rising to fight the wicked 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 leaders and all those evil that they have been doing is coming no more they are ruling of us right from the time we are they did not give back to me those people are ruling and up to today they are ruling i'm 34 years as as you see me some people look at me and think i'm like, like 28 years but i'm 34 years they did not give back to me those people were ruling and up to today they are, are ruling these are people that are supposed to be resting because their brain has already deformed their their brain is not functioning they don't have a brain that function well let them allow youth they are youth of 22 years 23 years they are their brain they can take us to the dreamland that is exactly what happened to joseph 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 made the dream of Egypt to come reality, a young man. So you can see that God wants to use the young people. But the leaders of this country, they don't want to allow the young people. And because they make us, the youth of this country, to hate ourselves. They make us to hate ourselves because they will come and they will give us some, some youth some certain money. You will think they love you. They don't love you because you don't have access for medication. You don't have access for house. You don't have access to go to school. Even I myself, they deny me to go to school that I do not get master English. You can imagine a stupid, a stupid leadership that has been going on in this country. I read, I study people that I knew. They only pass literature and they study literature in the institution in the development country but in my country they have already put it a mandate that you must pass master english for that reason i wrote wayek how many times i wrote Wayek four times with whose money my my father paid two two times for me i have to pay two times for myself 
so you can see so you can see that this country has been evil for so long but their evil is coming to an end thank you very much uh, samurai has warned nanjuma to stay away from Ibo land to stay away from the oil in anambra state oil in anambra especially that gas deposit mm. the oil in the southeast uh, oil exploration in the house southeast eastern nigeria started long time ago and actually it was uh, you know discovered in quantum mm. especially in anambra state where we have a gas deposit uh. that has been uh, you know discovered since the time of uh, former mili military governor of anambra state mm. during uh, babangida's regime during Buhari regime, sorry. Uh, that was uh, Alison, Ameka, uh, Alison Madweke. Uh, that was when he was governor of Anambra State. Oil was discovered uh, in Anambra State and especially gas deposit in large quantum. Uh, and uh, we've come out to actually understand the kind of politics played in Nigeria by Yoruba and the Fulane. And that's why we are issuing notice uh, to Nigerian nation that nobody not even Tinubu administration will try venture into that oil, that discovery in Anambra State to tap it. Mm. Nobody should tap it because you can see Greg Pitobi is from Anambra State. Mm. He's an Igbo man. He won an election. INEC, in conjunction with their uh, Fulani hegemony uh, 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 with Yoruba, you know, stopped to be from uh, at least. Uh, 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 handling the issue of the country as as in you know the mandate given to him by nigerian people mm. so we are we are we cannot see that play out so far anambra anambra man is not fit to rule nigeria mm. i don't think nigeria is fit nigeria is not in position i can never be in the position yeah. to tamper with anambra oil the gas deposit in anambra state yeah. is for the anambarian mm. yes because it's in biafra land Obviously, Igbo man has been exempted in Nigeria politics or leadership. So actually, our youth should be exempted too. Mm. Ababio is a Senate president. Mm. Oil of, you know, uh, at Eket. Mm. Eket, Akwebom State. Mm. Nigeria has been tapping, you know, tapping on it. Mm. They are using it for donkey years now. So they should leave our oil in Anambra State. It's for us. Provided we've been excluded from the political leadership of the country, leadership of the country, we are not supposed to be at least among the oil communities uh, that Nigeria has been, you know, tam, tam, you know, tapping from for a very long time. I don't see an Anambra state as a, a, an oil producing state that should be at least among the, you know, uh, 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 exploited oil communities in the southeastern Nigeria. Exploitation of that oil should be at least limited. So Akwebom, Bayelsa, all those communities that are known to be at least oil producing uh, uh, cities or states in I, I, along the African coastal line. So I don't see it coming this time around. And parents, we are not going to give Nigeria space. And again, the referendum uh, that is going to take place uh, 2nd of December, uh, Samurai has warned Nanjuma to stay away from Ibo land to stay away from the oil in Anambra State, oil in Anambra, especially that gas deposit. Mm. It has been discovered many years ago. Not even that human or Atiku should come to Anambra State to tap our oil. Mm. Since Tinubu has stolen our mandate mm. because he has money, mm. because he has uh, everybody, you know, all these political uh, juggernauts from uh, Flan extraction, you know, with him, in collaboration with INEC, I think. Anambra should be left alone to manage their oil, their natural resources. It belongs to us. It shouldn't be, you know, a general thing. Because Nigeria is for Yoruba. Nigeria is for Fulane. Nigeria is for, is for Aousa. It's not for Iboma. They should not tamper it. I don't know whether you understand what I mean. Especially the referendum is at hand. When Biafra goes, we will be using our natural resources. It belongs to us. The oil is not in Yoruba land. The oil is not in our land. The oil is in our land. Let us manage what we have. I don't know what I understand. For ourselves, for peace to reign. The referendum that is coming on 2nd December is going to be a bloodless referendum. Nobody should shoot one blood. Nigeria is a peaceful country. Igbo land is a peaceful country. I don't know what I understand. Look at what is going on presently when Nigerian military has started uh, having dialogue. 
dialoguing with the ISWAP and Boko Haram, begging them. Look at, just imagine. You are begging and dialoguing with a jihadist while you could not come to round table talk with indigenous people of Biafra that are trying to agitate for their independence, emancipation of Biafra nation. This it has exhumed another ghost of international chain on Nigerian side to have you know gone into negotiation with uh, ISWAP terrorists. It is an abomination, it's an abominable act. Look at the United States of America over the years, America has been battling with uh, Al Qaeda. From Al Qaeda, it translated to ISIS, Hamas, Hezbollah. America has been fighting them for many years. I've never seen America come out and beg any jihadist or any Arab man to retract from bombing. They said, carry on. We are coming after you. And they are fighting Hezbollah, fighting Hamas, fighting uh, Ashbab, fighting uh, Al Qaeda, everybody, every uh, uh, group, terrorist group from Middle East, from Africa. America is, you know, standing on their feet. I don't know what I understand. Face to face with jihadists, fighting them, giving them serious fights of their lives, coming out with all mechanisms to make sure that they cage them. And today Nigeria is begging. I don't see Nigeria as a giant Africa they claim they are. They are just dwarf fish country. Small Nigeria is no fit to fight Biafra, provided since they have, you know, begun to have consultation, you know, uh, dialogue with uh, terrorists. I think. Nigeria has thrown the trowel. It means Boko Haram, ISWAP, they have, you know, flown. They are flying in what? Many colors of victory. Thank you. They are flying many colors. Well, so, um, come out to accuse um, um, two Adanjuma of having oil wells um, um, in, um, in the country. Yes, I'm not, I'm not, it's not news to me. Two Adanjuma has been in the past. The, the richest oil well owner in Nigeria. If you go to Akwebom, Bayelsa, um, uh, Potakot, that's River State, the highest oil well owner is T.Y. Denjuma, then followed by this uh, man, uh, Sadwana, Sadwana, the current Sadwana of Sokoto. They have been compensated with many oil wells by each and every government that comes and goes in Nigeria. So Danjuma was uh, compensated with the highest number of oil well for killing Agui Ronsi. That was what they promised him. He was the ADC to our uncle Agui Ronsi that was killed in 1966. So you see what the plan is. The game they are playing in Nigeria, they play games and sit down on the sit on the blood of Igbo man, match them on the head, press them, you know, made money at the detriment of Igbo people. For killing Thomas Johnson, Omo Nakwe, Iron side, that's the wrong say. He was given, you know, compensated with many oil wells, which made him an outstanding highest oil well owner in Nigeria. Since the war, 1970, for 54 years now, mm. to the level that in 2007, no, 1997, T.Y. Danjuma sold the whole uh, oil well. He realized huge amount of money. He started doing the work of charity, you know, all of a sudden become a philanthropist throwing down all the eastern africa where the countries are poor he went to kenya he went to burundi he went to zambia he went to he was touring you know eastern africa then i know you know that was 1997 playing the role of a big brother you know to all these poor countries sharing the remaining money he realized for his children i don't know what I understand currently he's not into oil anymore because he has sold it up he has used the, the proceedings for his children. I don't know what I understand. So, but uh, we are trying to warn him to at least retract from making further move about uh, oil, crude oil well ownership along Biafran side because you can see Biafra is now a constituted authority. We have foreign ministers, we have diplomats all over the world. And again, our prime minister is in exile in Finland. I think they should begin to at least uh, uh, get it right in their score that it is no longer